Right now, imagine this. You have an urban farm smack in the middle of Brooklyn. From there, you can use your homegrown produce to make homemade lemonade, mm. just for starters. And then you can share your experiences and a few tricks of the trade from your mobile phone. Oh. Sound a little too squeaky green for you? <laughs> well, our next two guests are here to share information about the Grow Brooklyn Festival taking place this Saturday at the St. John's Parks and Recreation Center at Prospect Avenue and Troy Avenue, Prospect Place. There's a difference. Right. At Prospect Place, I'm from Brooklyn, and Troy <laughs> Avenue in Crown Heights. <laughs> the goal is to bring seniors and youth together to create an eco-friendly educational experience around nutrition and overall community health. First, we welcome the leader of the senior group at St. John's Parks and Recreation Center, Joyce Bolden. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming on the show. And joining her is Deborah Moss, a co-founder of the Friends of the Garden Kitchen Lab, which is co-sponsoring the festival along with the New York City Parks Department. Welcome, Deborah. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. So tell us some of the details of this festival that's coming up. Well, um, our festival is um, divided into three categories. We have garden and kitchen and lab, and that's because the festival was inspired by a program that is in the New York City Parks Department. Um, the Computer Resource Lab started a program called Friends of Garden Kitchen Lab, and that's an after-school program, so we're modeling our festival on that. So in the garden row, we'll have all kinds of growing events. In the culinary row, all kinds of things you can make with the things you grow. And in the tech row, we'll have um, food apps, a feed the robot program, and all kinds of techy digital things for the kids and every every kid of every age. Well, oh one of God. the best parts of this is the intergenerational nature. We've got the youngsters and the seniors all sharing knowledge. Some one might know a little bit more about computers, the other might get into the gardening. <laughs> yeah. So uh, where do you step into that, Ms. Bolden? With the seniors. Okay. And it's my pleasure so that we're involved as seniors. It's good for seniors to learn how, just like the younger generation, mm -hmm. where fruit, vegetables come from, what, how it benefits us, because they do have the younger generation there at the center and they have the seniors. So we love it. We just have to get more seniors involved. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come out and get involved. What are some of the opportunities yeah. that some of the seniors can just learn about this Saturday that'll keep them coming back and coming back and coming back all summer long? Well, they, they can learn about how to grow the vegetables. In Brooklyn? And, and you Brooklyn. Work vegetables? And right. Crown Heights. In Crown Heights. And this is Crown the Heights. Urban Central gardening. Brooklyn. This yes. is Central Brooklyn. Yeah. So they will learn how to grow. And they've already seen so many of the seniors, they go in. If the, <laughs> if the gate is open, they begin picking. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so these are actual plots yes. Uh, yeah. and areas that are designated for the gardening. Yes, yes. And, they can... and we, will, we will be expanding it. Ooh, it started tell us two years about ago. this potential expansion. Oh, wow. You better, you better watch out because we see these are tough, honey. We, <laughs> we eat all the green stuff. <laughs> right, we'll be around for a long time. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Because seniors there in the recreation center are mm -hmm. very active. They come in, they go in the gym, they go in the pool. I'm, I'm very, I, I'm a swimmer, I'm a competitive swimmer. Cool. And uh, so they love coming to the recreation center. And so now we have an added attraction, mm -hmm. which we can get the seniors, or the seniors are involved with, with the uh, okay. festival and growing. So where does the kitchen and lab part come yeah. into this? You said there's three tracks running. Right. I think maybe it helps to back up a little bit. So okay. at the Recreation Center, there's a program called the Garden Kitchen Lab, which is a part of the Computer Resource Center, which is an after-school program in the Parks Department. Gotcha. And a teacher there, who's a dear friend of mine and also a friend of Joyce's, we know each other through the center, Joyce and I. Yes. And um, Fabiola Caceres is the founder of the Garden Kitchen Lab program through the Computer Resource Program. Awesome. And so she started a program where after school kids come in and she was supposed to teach them about computers. And she had an idea for growing a garden on property. Mm -hmm. And so this is a way to sort of teach the kids not only how to grow food, where mm -hmm. food comes from, what to do with it afterwards. So because it's an after school program, it's between school and when they see their parents at night. They would have snack time, and a lot of people were going over to the corner delis mm -hmm. where there weren't very healthy options. So they grew the food, they prepared the food in the kitchen at the center, at the St. John Center, yeah. and then they tracked all of this through various digital programs. So they learned how to do uh, Google spreadsheets and yeah. 
cloud and um, they do a blog and they do digital photography and all kinds of things like that. So from that, we were inspired, the Friends of Garden Kitchen Lab, to start a program to help support and grow that. So we're trying to take what Fabiola has done and what the Parks Department has done and expand that out into the community. Mm -hmm. So um, that's how we got involved with Joyce. She's a great inspiration for community building. She does. More I things. can tell she's the connector. Yeah. Joy, yeah. Like, if you know Joyce, you're gonna be in the spot. Somewhere. Exactly. Really you want to know. You want to be on Joyce's good side. All right. Yeah. Well, we're gonna try to stay on that good side <laughs> and talk about. Well, shout out to Fabiola Caceres, number yeah, one. Wow. You're a visionary. Yes. yes. Like, those kids are there, and like you're stuck in a computer room, and there's growing stuff outside, and you don't have to eat Cheetos at snack time. Yeah. So this really is a food justice issue as well, where yes. it's not like you're stuck in the sort of bodega desert of what they have to offer, you can learn and see and actually get your hands in the garden. And that's what's so wonderful about it, the whole situation. Wow. When she started it, because as I said, the seniors, they managed to go into the garden and they start picking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And it's wonderful. So they, they have a clearer, concise understanding about, not that they had no understanding before, yeah. but this is even better because they can go and ask questions mm -hmm. as they as they get involved with the with the whole program. Right, no, and do it, and, and do see it, it and, and become it. And involved. And, yes. and I mean, there's just something so different about eating food that right. you have exactly. prepared, first yeah. of all, but that if you've just grown it, it's, it's, it's that much more beginning. amazing. From the beginning. From yes. the beginning. Planting the seed. Yeah. Everything begins in seed form, it grows into an experience. Okay, how can we get involved? How? Tell us how, how you can be there. Um, <laughs> well, you can, you can absolutely take one of, Fab, you can, if you're your kid, you can take one of Fabiola's classes um, there at the center, or you can join us this Saturday to learn more. Um, the festival starts at 11 and goes until 4. We have over 20 participants that range. Um, in each of those rows, uh, we learn about everything from composting to um, healthy food apps to Feed the Robot, which will result in a raffle winner. Um, we have some great musicians coming, and we have, I, I think, five culinary demos. So there'll be everything from organic baby food, how to make your own baby food, mm -hmm. to um, what to do with basil, because we're also giving away free herbs. So you can get your own little basil plant, take it home with you, and then there'll be a table showing you what different dishes you can make with that basil. Okay, we are completely out Love of it. time. Out of the time. And we'll wow. see you to get our basil and our knowledge on Saturday at the St. John's Recreation Center Prospect Place, Place in Troy. Kingston. Troy Between Troy and, and Schenectady. You'll find it. Follow the crowd. They'll Troy take you and there. Yeah. Thank you That's both for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you, it. Thank you very right. much.